Hey friends, so today we are here for another grocery haul. Things have changed. I am now doing a fortnightly grocery shop instead of my usual weekly grocery shops and I am loving it. This is the second fortnight. The first fortnight I didn't film. I just took two weeks off of filming um, just to one so I can try and catch up editing. It didn't really work out that well because without me filming, I'm not that motivated to edit. Um, and also just so I can get my mojo with cooking a little bit. I found myself, I'd only want to cook things if I was filming and if I wasn't in the mood to film, then I would just wouldn't cook and we'll order and take away. And then it's like, it just wasn't, it wasn't good. So I was, took two weeks off, done a fortnight shop. So I decided to fortnight shop again, loving it. Budget was $400. If you have been here for a while, you'll know our budget for the weekly shops was $200. And I was struggling with being creative with meals, still being healthy, still being cheap and affordable and quick, but also a couple of times in a week or even at least once in a week, do something more fun and exciting for one that's just my pure enjoyment. And Nick and I are both foodies, we like to eat different things and different fun exciting things. For the most part we are pretty repetitive but we still want that special different meal. And I enjoy making and of course for content for videos and I was struggling with $200 a week. So we upped the budget to 300, I think, or was it even 350? And that seemed to work, but I was just thinking this is just ridiculous. So done a fortnight shop, had so much money left over in our fortnightly budget. So I done our fortnight budget for this fortnight for $400. So back to 200 a week, but just buying it all at one hit. I don't know why, but it is so much cheaper. So at Coles, I went to Coles and Audi, I'll show you Coles first. At Coles we did spend $61.97, which to be honest, I want to check this. I don't understand how, I mean, I guess it's all fine, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's expensive for the small amount of groceries I got. Audi, I did my main shop, so I went to Coles second. Um, but Audi, I done my main shop and I was shocked with the price as I was putting it on the belt. I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh my gosh, I only have $400. I hope this is not over $300. And at the end of it, he said $290. So I was like, oh, that's close to $300, but at least it wasn't $300. So I was like, mixed emotions with that. I gave him $300 in cash. That's another thing as well. Cash spending seems to work a lot more better in not actually spending so much. You're more mindful, for me at least. So I gave him three hundred dollars in cash, and then he gave me a hundred dollars back. He goes, "Do you just have ninety cents? It's too, like dead on two hundred and ninety cents." I thought he meant two hundred ninety dollars, and with the amount of stuff I had, I was praying it wasn't over three hundred. If it was over three hundred, I wouldn't have been surprised. So the fact is, like a hundred dollar difference of what I thought I spent to what it was just is so crazy to me. But anyhow. The menu, I have not written up on the meal plan because doing it fortnightly, trying to figure out like what I have mentally, but then if I see some discount in me, I might subs like take away one of my meals, quickly think of something quick and easy in the shops. That didn't happen, I didn't write it out. But I know we got like butter chicken, we're gonna do burritos, we're gonna do a range of things. Maybe things will come back to my memories. Oh, steak and veg, you guys know we like steak and veg. We're doing that twice in a week. Um, so that's good and fun. And for lunch today, actually, we're gonna do that viral TikTok chop sandwich. And I'm also getting back onto TikTok a little bit too. So if you wanna see me on TikTok, and that's where I'm kind of listing my meal plans for each week and just some plate up videos and meal videos as well. So if you're interested in that, TikTok is linked down below. But anyhow, let's get into the haul and I'll show you guys what I got from Carl's and then we'll go to Audi. All right, so this is everything just in this one screen. It was $61.95. Now, 24 pack of water is $9.50. I would normally get them from Audi because Audi is $8, but they didn't have any. So I got one from Coles. Um, cream corn. These are $1.70 each, so obviously they add up. They had some Dolmatis, 25 cents each, so I asked for eight. He gave me nine because one of them broke, so he said that's just a bonus one. Um, so it was $2 for that, and that's for, I might have a couple, but majority for Nick. Nick requested some paprika. He wants to do a seafood boil. We do have some paprika in the cupboard, but he'll dump this whole bag in. So I just brought the spices that he required. There was a few spices I couldn't get at either Audi or Coles, so... 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can get. Refined beans, delicious for burritos. We done that last fortnight. I only used like half the can and it did get wasted. But I, what I think I will do is do half and put half in the freezer. And I'm sure it will freeze up fine. And I feel like burritos is going to be a very common in our fortnight rotation. Maple syrup, sugar-free. I've been on my waffle kick. Nick gifted me a mini waffle maker. You can see here, this is some protein waffles that I made. So I'm, yeah, on a little waffle kick at the moment as well. These are our deli meats for the chopped sandwich and we might have some ham left over as well. So we got triple smoked leg ham. I got some Hungarian salami and some prosciutto. I got a corn cob for Nick for his seafood boil. Reusable metal straws. These were like $5.50 for the four pack. I We had have one four pack, but it's always like they've been used or in the dishwasher. So I've been meaning for a while now to get another pack. I just keep forgetting. And flowers. So I've decided to buy a bulk of flowers. One, it is works out cheaper. Just other bulk flowers was more expensive than this like regular size packet. So definitely look at the price. Don't just think automatically think bulk big. You're paying more up front. It's going to be cheaper. That's not always the case. For this brand, it was the case compared to my usual go-to. But the main reason why I've done it is my usual go-to flower. I don't even know what it's called. I don't even think I have any in the pantry left. So this is my usual go-to. I just got it from the recycling pile. Um, but they're always out of stock. I swear to God, it's like 50-50% chance whether it'll be in stock or not. And they only sell that in that one size. There's no bulk, bulk like option. So we got this bulk one. And that was $14. I feel like that was wrong. I reckon that tag... I don't think it was supposed to be $14, to be honest. But whatever. It is what it is. And I just got some regular plain flour as well. Um, because I'd be making a lot more of my bread products. So I got bread in that bag. Waffles there. We'll make our own to tortillas. Tortillas. For the burritos. Just everything like that. Making from scratch. And then here is everything that we got for the fortnight from Audi. Which was $200.90. Which is just blows my mind honestly so let's start just from here this wasn't on the list I just saw it and I was like oh that sounds delicious so we're trying that we got six bottles there's four there and there's two more over to this side so six bottles of our no sugar lemonade um we probably would end up getting like a couple of bottles throughout the fortnight but I was just kind of over putting them in my trolley corn um 95 cents each coconut milk uh, I think now like a dollar ten or a dollar fifteen coconut milk. We don't need for any recipes. I just know that there's none in our pantry, so I just wanted to get a couple. And corn, we'll use some for the burritos, and some maybe one for burritos and one just so we can have it stocked up. The Italian glaze. So, like I said, I was doing that viral TikTok sandwich. I don't, I couldn't remember if it was Italian glaze or if it was just regular red wine vinegar. I think it's just red wine vinegar, but I'm going to use a glaze. And I know I just finished what we had last week. So regardless, again, I saw it. I wanted to get it. So we still have some in our pantry. Garlic powder. This is going to be for Nick's seafood boil, which is going to be a prawn boil. The prawns I'm going to buy fresh on the day, which it will be on the weekend. But I just wanted everything else for it. Bacon. I've done the shortcut bacon, which is generally not as tasty as... The fatty pieces, but obviously it is a bit more lean because it has not that nice yummy fat. But that's still going to be delicious for bacon and egg toasties. Carrots, um, just easy veg for everything. Plus I'm going to make carrot cakes. Potatoes, we're doing sausages and mash for tea tonight. Nick's going to be cooking that and I'm so excited because he does the best mashed potatoes. Um, and I want potatoes for chicken and leek pie. I know I've been saying that for like a month now as a lunch thing. I've just put it down as a dinner so it's going to get done. I just got onions. Couldn't remember if we need it or not. If not, I can always chop them up and have pre-frozen onions in the freezer. It's been a while since I've done that and that is actually really handy and convenient. So I might just do that regardless. Red onion. Some for the sandwich. Some for... I, I honestly, I don't remember to be honest. <laughs> Um, I'm doing a roast chicken, so I wanted to do like a creamy broccoli bake, kind of like a cauliflower cheese, but with broccoli instead. 
Sorry about the background noise as well. Nick's just making up some noodles. Um, I got lettuce, again, some for the sandwich, some for burritos, mushrooms for Nick to have with his steak, zucchini for Nick to have with his steak. I like to have peas, which we have in the freezer, and sweet potato with my steak. So I'll have one this week, one next week. Brussels sprouts. Um, again, we could even have a few of these with the steak, otherwise more so for the roast dinner. And then this is the chicken for the roast dinner. We got some chicken breasts. Half of this will be for the burritos. Half of this will be for, I don't remember to be honest. And then we got the, a whole packaging of thighs. So I'm gonna do with the butter chicken a double batch. So then that would be for two nights in a row. Now these steaks, um, it looks like there's two pieces and they're big pieces. So we'll have just one piece and we'll cut it in half. And that's one meal for one week. And cause we'll do it twice. So this is plenty for us for steak. I got these sausages for Nick to do in the prawn seafood boil as well. He'll probably do a couple and then we might just grill a couple on the barbecue for me since I won't have the boil because I don't eat prawns. And these are the sausages. These are the sausages that I got for the sausages and mashed potato dinner tonight. And pork mince for oh that's right a pork and rice bowl just something quick easy throw together for at the end of the week so we've got the pork for that which pork mince is wow it's like three dollars and ninety-nine cents for 500 grams it's super cheap so this is enough meat for 12 meals that's all i really done because sometimes i don't know we just do get takeaway or we have leftovers or just have a sandwich or whatever so i only really made 12 meals up for our meal plan and what we our groceries are i think that'll be fine now on to dairy um i had cream cheese in my fridge that i used for my dad's birthday cake um so i got two now one just so we have some in the fridge and one for the carrot cupcakes i'll make throughout the week as our treat i'll do a cream cheese frosting on that so one will get used one we can have so we just have it I wanted some more butter because we're doing a lot of baking. Butter is so expensive. It's like $6 something for 500 gram block. Greek yogurt, I got a kilo. Normally I get the 500 gram packaging and that lasts us a fortnight perfectly because I like to put it on some, some of the waffles that I make with some fruit um, or just generally in some cooking, some recipes. But I know I'm gonna use a fair bit for the butter chicken, so that's why I got a kilo. And the date's good until middle of next month anyhow so that'll be fine swiss cheese for the sandwich plus leftovers nick can have and enjoy sour cream for burritos i mean we again i just kind of like it's good until the end of the uh, no, start of the next month it's just a dairy product i like to keep stock up in the fridge regardless and cream as well for oh that's right sour cream and cream will go in the chicken and leek pies and cream in the butter chicken yeah and then eggs the prices have gone up so it's now seven dollars for the carton of eggs that we like from audi so because we go through two 18 packs in a fortnight we're paying 14 dollars to eat eggs which is ridiculous but hopefully at the end of this year we're going to get our own chicken so i'm super excited for that but for now we're paying 14 bucks a fortnight <laughs> And yeah, a couple more sodas here. And then I did buy two of these um, Thai style barbecue chicken noodle bowls. We got a couple of camping trips coming up and we haven't tried these before. And these were $1.70 and these are like the big size. So I thought we could try this. If we like these, then we can maybe bring some of these ones out for camping. <laughs> Makes like they're not that big. That's always like for packaging though. Um, so yeah, if we like them, that's just an option for to bring out for camping but otherwise here is some of the cold stuff and then yeah all of the Audi things here so I do think for spending under $300 for a fortnight is fantastic um, especially like I said I used to do 200 a week and I felt like I was struggling so we spent less than 200 a week and I don't think I'm gonna struggle to come up with meals we have plenty of flour to make homemade bread homemade tortillas we got salad -y stuff, we got cucumbers out on the vine as well for cucumber salad. Um, we got plenty of meat. We got plenty of meat to last us. We still got some meat in the freezer as well. So again, for those times, like, because I only budgeted for 12 meals, so if we 
actually stick to it, not buy any takeout, not do anything naughty, we can pull out some chicken and make a Greek salad or something like that. Something quick and easy. Heaps of bacon. I might even freeze some of that bacon. So then we just do have bacon in the meal, in the freezer for a meal and have some of that bacon, like I said, for lunches. And yeah, so. So yeah, I'm very happy with what I picked up for the price that I picked it up in. And like I said, I think this is gonna be a very good week with food. And ah, I'm just excited. So thank you so much for watching. Please give it a fit. Yeah. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy. Subscribe down below so I don't miss out future videos. I'll see you guys next time.